access to sufficient amounts of safe and nutritious food is key to sustaining life and promoting good health. On safe food containing harmful bacteria, viruses, parasites, or chemical substances causes more than 200 diseases, ranging from diarrhea to cancers. The World Health Organization reveals that an estimated 600 million, almost one in 10 people in the world, fall ill after eating contaminated food, and 420,000 die every year, resulting in the loss of 33 million healthy life years. Children under five years of age carry 40% of the foodborne disease burden, with 125,000 deaths every year. Diarrheal diseases are the most common illnesses resulting from the consumption of contaminated food, causing 550 million people to fall ill and 230,000 deaths every year. Speaking with Galaxy News health experts enlightening us more on the dangers of food poison, its causative organisms, and importance of food hygiene. Usually you find people displaying the consumable items by the side of the road, places where they're um, dead, dead, like close to uh, you know, dumps and all that. And here you find flies flying all over the places, perching on the food that we are supposed to eat. And so you find, for example, people fry um, yam, fry um, all this pastry, pop off and the rest. And a lot of people consume this thing. You find it at almost every joint that you pass along the way. But then you realize that these things have been exposed. They're not even well covered. Flies, everything comes into play. And at the end of the day, we just consume the food directly. Even meat sellers, <laughs> you find them by the roadside and um, the meats are not well covered. And when meats are not well you know, prepared, when they are not cooked thoroughly, they are also um, sources of contamination. They have to be cooked all the way. So if you see any pink, if your meat isn't, if you, you know, see any blood in the bones or anything like that, you want to avoid that because it means that there could be a risk of infection. I would just say that they should be careful in terms of making sure that they're eating clean and sanitary foods. So just watch where the source of where your food comes from. If you're buying food from the market and you're taking it home to prepare it, make sure that you're washing it. If it's fruits and vegetables, um, you know, some people even use salt to wash the vegetables and make sure that they have been cleaned sufficiently. Point that it gets into the body system and begins to cause a particular disease which has a set of symptoms. Most of the symptoms we have actually is what we call gastroenteric in the sense that it, it involves the stomach and the intestine in most cases, primarily in that area. So you could have biological causes, you could have uh, chemical causes, and you could have to preserve food. Food is best preserved at a temperature best below 5 degrees centigrade or above 60 degrees centigrade. Food supply chains now cross multiple national borders Good collaboration between governments, producers and consumers help ensure food safety. Dirt, filth, this is what constitutes our marketplaces, contaminating the food we eat and the water that we drink. Right here in the heart of my 12th market, Lagos, Nigeria, is a very big place where people come from far and wide to buy and sell food. And it is right here in this junction that we conduct a survey on how people know well about food hygiene and, of course, food storage and preservation. I go wash out before I sell her now. Uh, why? Don't let a person go. What the thing where a person go eating? I can't meet at the same. So in the morning, then the clock cleans in the slaughter. After cleaning, then go carry and come to market for sale. Major problem is that our market costs too much. Cow is too cost too much now. Only one cow, like three, three, three hundred and something, four hundred and something. So now, so then they buy them. Now tomato are the sell for inside here. But if you don't sell tomatoes, I go sell cucumber. I will start tomatoes don't finish. Now they say cucumber for you. And they put them for inside, I carry a knife. Pair and pair before chopper. Wash them with inside water, with a small salt inside. Now I'm going to wash them away. I will come out now, Abu, the Ake Senshi. Yara, the Matakaraman, we are the Matakaraman Himanti. When we buy it, we wash it because they bring it to us in baskets and some in bags. People come from town to buy in large quantity and if they take it to town to sell, they get clean water from the tap to wash it in case someone wants to buy it, the person will see it clean. 
Though in a dirty environment, these traders have an appreciable knowledge of the importance of food hygiene. But these questions come to the fore. Why must our local markets be characterized by filth? How often do we practice food hygiene in our homes or even at workplaces? Do we care enough to make sure we wash our cooking utensils thoroughly? How often do we take time to make sure our vegetables are properly washed? Do we clean our storage units like refrigerators regularly? How well do we preserve and handle what goes into the body? Unsafe food creates a vicious cycle of disease and malnutrition, particularly affecting infants, young children, elderly and the sick. Foodborne diseases impede socioeconomic development by straining healthcare systems and harming national economies, tourism and trade. So have you ever woken up with a tummy ache, feeling like stooling, vomiting? Then maybe you might have been a victim of food poisoning. Food hygiene can never be overemphasized. There is the importance of making sure you wash your vegetables and washing your fruits well to avoid food poisoning. As the popular saying goes, your health is your wealth. Rita Omodia, Galaxy Television, Lagos.